here is the dell motherboard n5110 okay here is this is the rtc section here we remove the diode so that is here now what the condition is i put this cell so where it would be there that i will show you see this uh, diode terminal one side it's a 3.3 side it is see diode one side it's a 3.3 other side once you press the power button i mean sorry once you connect the adapter then only you will get that voltage see at present there is no voltage and other side diode output side what will be the result see there is no voltage at all right it's not connected to this here hmm? see the condition now there is no voltage in rtc vcc right so this is entirely different it's a 3 volt cdo section but this also it's entirely different one this is output one diode output one so here is the cell voltage once again i'm showing you cell voltage 3 volts and here there is no voltage now i am going to connect the supply see the dc machine and here see i connected the first time no so it's got started okay it got started dc also 940 something see here in this condition i am checking the output side see this is the output side rtc vcc section the voltage is 2.7 and other side means it's a cell side see the cell cell voltage is 3 volts right so other side one more 3 volts audio side see i kept 3 volts audio side so 3.3 okay the rtc output is 5 2.7 see see the rtc output is 2.7 this 2.7 from where you are getting that is the question mark here okay this is the logic of uh, dell n5110 board if you have this board you can also try see now it's automatically turned on manually i will turn it off see manually i will turn it off turned off in this condition one or two time you can try so board will start see one time only it got start again once again i will show you the voltage output side voltage see it means rtc vcc this voltage this pch internally it will produce so from where and when you need to check by practically means you have to read the theory of this pch then you come to know how this pch pch is producing here the output side of 2.7 volts output side of this diode and rtc section 2.7 volts this pch is giving internally so how it's coming you people have to do practice and you have to check see here one more motherboard it's a very famous one it's a dell uh 3521 okay la9104p in this also i have removed the diode okay see now i will check the voltage one side this side for the voltage is so 3 point this right see this side 3.0 volts right so other side the radio side there is no voltage okay 3 uh, 38 ohms something is there 300 something now the output side see the output side there is no voltage some dc points or 500 something is showing but there is no uh, voltage okay so now i am going to connect the dc what will happen in previous motherboard it was showing 2.7 volts right in output side but here what the result see i connected the dc it's connected here is the battery session 
ओके बैटरी सेशन इज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एंड सी इन साइड वट इज दट एल साइड इट हेज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट बिकॉज वी कनेक्ट द पॉवर सप्लाई बट आउटपुट साइड एयर देर इज नो आउटपुट सी देर इज नो आउटपुट प्रीवियसली वॉट इट वॉज देयर सेम थिंग इट शोइंग राइट करेक्ट now in this condition in previous motherboard we got the voltage 2.7 voltage here once you connect the supply but here what is the logic see i am going to turn it on sometimes it may be two times or three times it will turn on because we removed the diode okay see one time i turned it on so it started check the display Okay, at present, it may take time. Okay, anyway, so once again, I will turn it off. Okay, I'll turn it off, and again, I'll try. See, turn it off. I'm going to try now. Once again, I press the power button. Now, display will come or not? display came hmm ac power adapter something we got the display in this condition once it's turned on what will be the voltage that i will show you see it's on there is no diode at all right see the voltage 2.79 See, please note down this 2.79. In that laptop also, uh, in that motherboard also, the same voltage we were able to get, get right. So other side, I am checking once again. Its input side, 3.3 is there, and other side, 3 voltage, battery side, and output side, 3 2.7 volts. Motherboard is turned on. One or two times, if you try, so definitely it will turn it on. So now, how it is the possibilities? So it means the PCH internally it is generating 2.7 volts in RTC VCC. I mean to say, while doing the service, need not to uh, check this diode. It is not compulsory. Hmm? It is not uh, that much of compulsory to check this diode in case if there is no short. Please note down if this path is short, then this 2.7 already I showed you. You know, once you press the power button, it's generating 2.7. If this circuit is short, definitely, obviously, it won't turn it on. Even on and off also, if on uh, there will be no voltage, it's going to ground. Then when it will turn it on? So the concept is very simple. The path, the RTC section path, if it is a short, then so in that reset won't happen so there's a reason the board won't turn on but here if there is no short if you won't get any voltage in rtc vcc then also your motherboard will turn it on maybe one or two time if you press the power button definitely it will turn it on that is the concept okay so it means the pch architecture this pch architecture internally has some voltage capacity to give the rtc section RTC VCC, so that voltage internally it's providing to the RTC VCC section. See, three total three voltages available in RTC VCC. There is a really wondering thing. One is 2.7 volts. That's uh, PCH itself it's providing, and second one is battery cell, and third one is once you connect the uh, supply, the time 3.3 voltage is available, LD voltage. So total three voltage is available in the RTC section. The third one, the output section, may be before pressing power button on in some architecture, and after pressing power button on in some architecture is available. So nowadays, because of that internal voltage concept, nowadays you won't get the cell concept. Okay, it is included in battery. Hmm? In motherboard battery, it is included in latest motherboards. so that is entirely different section so in future i will explain you step by step 
but here it's a clear the pch architecture has 2.7 voltage it may be before pressing power button or it may be after pressing power button okay here one more motherboard please see this motherboard carefully this one is turis amd 168081 okay so this one is amd motherboard now this is the rt section i removed the diode here is the rt section this one okay here what will be the voltage that i will show you before pressing power button please see this carefully see here now here actually battery voltage okay that cmos cell battery voltage and here there is no voltage other side so input side only the output side see this is the output side there is no voltage okay now i'll connect the supply check the dc this the see i connected the supply okay now i'll check the output side output there is no voltage okay here is the battery side battery as 3 volts and other side as 3.3 volts okay there is no output now i'm going to turn it on see here is the jumper pad okay there we need to press see turned on okay but see what the issue you will get if there is no rtc vcc see the display slightly display is there actually it's a blinking in camera it's unable to see i think so but see the error code 2 plus 1 Oh no, two also is there. Here there is an indication, but it's turning on. But what about RTC section is available or not? That we will check. Non condition only. See, so ground. Here is the output section. there is no voltage okay input section 3.3 battery section 3.0 board still on means at present there is no display but it's showing some error if i add this diode what will happen you will get the display means here it's a clear depending on architecture this is not pch this is ips okay this is a amd series motherboard in this the rts concept is centrally different it's 1.5 volts you will get okay the 3.3 volts will convert through a ic that will convert as a 1.5 volts and then it will go to io okay the concept is centrally different but the motherboard is turning on okay it's very simple in any architecture it's a depend on architecture i showed you is a third motherboard depending on architecture the system will give the display or only the power on that's depends on architecture and rdc vcc availability is also depends on pch ya ips uh, what is that architecture internal architecture okay so in amd series we won't get the rtc vcc once you turn it on but it's turning on okay but in uh, intel series in some other boards it will turn on and it gives the display here is the conclusion you need to try yourself in any board if you want you remove the in working motherboard i uh, am telling you just you remove the mother uh, what is that the diode and you check the supply before pressing power button on and just you plug the uh, supply and after pressing power button on like this you have to 
make an experience okay you, you have to get an experience hmm? that's it so here is the conclusion in no more uh, rtc vcc videos okay this is the final one thank you thank you very much